Bye bye beard. Hey guys, back to what we originally intended Wake Up With Jacob to be all about. I picked three stories, I'm gonna share them with you. I wanna hear what you think about them and I'll tell you why I picked them. The first one came to me through a new social network called This cm the article is about a new instagram account there are a small group of photographers that are posting from around the world images of what climate change looks like every single day some people talk about that the reason there are still people that don't believe in climate change is that they don't feel like they can see the effects of climate change in their everyday lives ice melting in ecuador on the highest mountain there deforestation in indonesia the pictures are really beautiful a very different way to look at one of the most important issues, stories, phenomenons uh, of our lifetime. And of course, with climate change, there's no scientific debate about whether or not it exists, but there's a very political one. And unfortunately, that same thing is happening right now with vaccines and vaccinations. And that's the second thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Both Chris Christie, the governor in New Jersey, and Rand Paul, the senator from Kentucky, have weighed in in different ways about vaccinations and whether or not they think the state, the government, should be involved in mandating vaccinations. They both admitted that as parents, they vaccinate their children, but they also said, paraphrasing here, parents, in one way or the other, should have some freedom to choose whether or not their kids are getting these vaccinations. This is all linked to a much bigger movement of anti-vaccine people who don't believe in the safety and the efficacy of modern science, essentially. So in the spirit of modern medicine and sanity, I dug up this Ted Ed video about how vaccines work. Scientists use vaccines to trigger the body's adaptive immune system without exposing humans to the full strength disease. You should watch the whole thing and share the whole thing. The link's in the description. I think a lot of people could use that right now. By the way, I gotta hold my own feet to the fire and get a little self-promotion in. I'm hosting a new web series for Pivot. It's the after show of their first scripted drama called Fortitude, starring Stanley Tucci. The web series is called Investigate Fortitude, and it's all about the science behind this thriller that is set in the Arctic. So I was doing an interview about, spoiler alert, infectious diseases, which has a part in the plot, and uh, I admitted that I had not yet gotten my flu shot. Can I get my flu vaccine this year? Is it too yeah, late to get it? You can still get it. in the middle of flu yeah. season, and it's yeah. bad this year. Yeah. I would like to let everybody know I have now gotten my flu shot. I believe in the power of vaccines, and I hope that you do too. With the recent deaths and the historic deaths of so many unarmed African American men at the hands of police officers, a lot of people are talking about a policing strategy called broken windows. And I think it's fair to say a lot of people don't know what broken windows policing is. So Fusion, the joint network from ABC and Univision, they relaunched their website, they put out a lot of new content, but the thing that I liked most was this video explaining what broken windows is. It was animated by Molly Crabapple. Take a look. Social scientists James Wilson and George Kelling introduced the broken windows theory in 1982 in an article in the Atlantic Monthly. According to Kelling and Wilson, if a neighborhood had a broken window, residents would break other windows. Soon, crime would soar. All because no one pushed back against the first signs of quote-unquote disorder. I'm curious what you guys think about broken windows policing. You think it's a good strategy gone wrong? Do you think it works fine? Do you think it needs to be thrown out completely? Let me know in the comments. Finally, 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 shout out to Hannah Hart, who it turns out also wakes up quite early to consume the news and made a video of five things that you should know at 5 a.m. I really enjoyed that video, and I think you guys will too. As always, links to everything I've talked about today are down in the description. And don't forget, please comment, subscribe, like, and share this video. And let me know what you want to see next time. Later.